Actual Building Design Students names Hamza Al-Tahan, Muhammad Al-Tahan, Ahmed Al-Tahan, Yasin Al-Qadri, Mahmoud Aba Zaid, Jadara University, Jordan. Introduction. The foundation of any construction project is rooted in the concept and design stage. In design environmentally optimal buildings, the objective is to minimize the total environmental impact associated with all life cycle stages of the building project. A sustainable or a green building produces net zero or smaller carbon footprint or reduces the other harmful emissions. Five principles of a green building. Number one, sustainable site design. Number two, water conservation and quality. Number three, energy and environment. Number four, conservation of resources and reuse of material number five indoor environmental quality structure efficiency it is the concept of sustainable building and that largest impact on cost and performance it aims to minimize the environment impact associated with all life cycles energy efficiency the layout of the construction can be start guide so that natural light bore of additional warmth. Shading the roof with three offers and eco-friendly alternative to air conditioning. Water efficiency. To minimize water consumption, one should aim to use the water which uh, has uh, be collected, use purified and reused material efficiency material should be used that can be recycled and can generate a surplus amount of energy an example of this are solar power panels not only they provide lightning but they are also a useful energy source waste and reduction it is probable to reuse resources what may be wo uh, waste to us may have another benefit to something else high-rise buildings are exposed to both to both statics and dynamic loads depending on the method used and who the structure is modeled in Finite element software the result can vary this project is a design of a multi-story reinforced concrete buildings with around 3331 meter area which will be the goal of this project the aim of this project is to make sure that all design course taken during the five academic years is understood and applied probably through the design of a multi-story building. Multi-story building become very common in the modern countries, which is essential to the development of the economical movement. In order to establish such building codes development for bracketing and limiting pair buses. The fact the original design is not equipped to very meticulous design calculation and there are some elements need redesign and check if we can build a new floor for future. We will should design our building so that this design is to be safe and secure in case of such such the event of an dead loads and live loads and we will also make sure that this design matches international specification safety and disposal disposal of the technical requirements in excesses.
and make it a green building which may rise the total cost of the project. Environmental constraints include limiting factor concurring geographical location, geological future hazardous materials, air pollution, excavation, noise, vibration, traffic, trees and wildlife preservation and so on this can often overlap with legal constraints. Building ventilation is the circulation of air th uh, throughout a building, the ventilation or the heating, ventilating and air conditioning, HVAC system of a building supplies and remove air naturally, windows and or mechanically to and from a space. HVAC system consists of mechanical parts that provide air to building equipment. The air provided should be a comfortable temperature and humidity level and is free a harmful air pollutants. Improper operation and maintenance of HVAC systems in a common problems impact workplace indoor environmental quality IEQ. HVAC Systems include all of the equipment used to ventilate, heat, cool, and humidify, dehumidify the building. The systems also serve the dilute and remove contaminants from cubed areas, including carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide, tobacco smoke, molds and bacteria, cleaning products, copy machines and printers, stickets, vehicle exhaust. Drain system can contribute to sustainable development and improve the places and spaces where we live, work and play by blanking and different operated and challenges that influence European design and the development of communities. Approaches to manage surface water that take account of water quantity, flooding, water quality, pollution, biodiversity, wildlife and planet, and amenity are collectively referred to as sustainable drainage system SUDS. In the project, we use sustainable drainage system, which is convey the rainfall water filter in the soil and this system is considered to be environmentally beneficial causing minimal or no long-term detrimental damage and this week control structures and started designing to efficiently and sustainably drain surface water while minimizing pollution and managing the impact on water quality of local water bodies